I don't care what anybody says. What makes me different than most people is my ability in business to control my emotions. And it's just, people think it's, people think it's the, man, Brian be peaking interest. Oh, he got a huge following. Oh, he just got a gift. Oh, he been doing this for years. People always make me the excuse as to why they can't be successful. And I want to remove you of that. I want to relieve you of that. That's not the reason. The reason I'm more successful than most people is because I have zero emotional attachment to what my prospects think. Zero. None. Like, I want y'all to put this in your notes. It's your money. It's your money. When you, when you don't change your W-4, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That don't put a dime in my pocket. When, if your credit score is a 119, it don't hurt my interest at all. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you want to get a tax refund for the next 89 years, it don't hurt my son's trust fund one bit. If you want to overpay interest and keep giving your money away to the banks, far be it for me to tell you you can't do that. Because what? It's your money. It ain't my money. But what we do in this business is we start thinking because other people are making irrational decisions, we take it personal. Here's what you have to remember. Number one, never get addicted to the outcome. Never. Once I do a presentation, I could care less if people sign up or not. And I'm dead serious. I did my job and I sleep good at night knowing that I showed you some stuff that has blessed me. And after that, I'm done. Does that make sense? Right. The difference mm -hmm. with an amateur and a professional is you start counting the numbers. Hey, did they sign up? Hey, what they going? Hey, so-and-so had a question. Oh, Brian, you, you, you didn't hit the land banking tonight. Oh, you should have hit the prior reserve account a little more. Oh, Brian, my people got on to hit a comp plan. Oh, my goodness. Look, stop. If you understand people, you will understand this. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. You can't. Right? I don't care what nobody tell you. I don't care what you think the problem is. This business, and I'm about to prove it to you, is very simple. If you're struggling in the business, nine times out of ten, it's because, number one, you are emotional. Let's just, let's just face that fact. You, you emotional. And you are letting the decisions that other people make affect how you behave on your next prospect. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, if five people tell you no, two people ask you if it's a pyramid, one person get in and go red the next month, what you do, you let other people's behavior affect how you behave the next time. See, that's the difference between me and you. Everybody can quit. I still know what I want out of my, out of my business and out of my life. Everybody can quit. But see, put, put this in your notes. It, the business is for you, it's not for them. See, what, what you gotta be careful of is making sure that you don't start thinking that because other people don't see it, and because other people go red, and because other people get discouraged, and because other people fall off, you start thinking the business don't work. So what happens is too often, somebody else's thoughts, habits, and behaviors, and patterns become yours. The difference with a professional, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. See, if, if Marvin lose three people, and Saint lose two people, and Bert lose five people, and Jimmy Lee lose one person, and Fred go inactive, and Quanta stop. So if about 23 people on this Zoom quit. That means only three quit for Saint. Fred got dropped out. Bert only lost two. I lost 23. So when somebody go red for you, just multiply that by about 50 for me. The difference is, why do I care? Why do I not care? And you care so much. You see the difference? That's mm -hmm. the difference. Guys, listen to me. The business is for you. It's not for them. <laughs> I need to make sure you put that down. <laughs> but what we do, we tie too much of what others do into how we behave. And that's something, that's something you got to stop.
I, I never, I never did that, and I never, I never understood that. Because your bills ain't got nothing to do with mine. Your credit score ain't got nothing to do with mine. Your belief system is not mine. Your your needs or your necessities are not mine. Your cash flow is not mine. Your taxes ain't mine. Your debt ain't mine. Your investments ain't mine. Your interest ain't mine. So you start thinking you need a certain person to be successful. Listen to me. Put this in your notes. You don't need a person. You need people. You don't need a person. You need people. Ryan, if we could just get so-and-so, if we could just get such and such. Look, I keep telling people this. We're going to get everybody, okay? <laughs> I really believe that. It's just a matter of who they gonna come through. We getting everybody. Look, it ain't nothing out there even close to this right now, nothing. I don't care, you can 4X trade all you want. You can, you can neutral burst all you want. You can waste train all you want. At the end of the day, making money work for you and making it make money, that's everybody's long-term goal. I'm talking about every company, am I right? Right. It's just that we cut all the fluff out. We don't need the neutral burst to do it. We don't need nothing else to do it. We just go ahead and make money and the financial edge and the education with the implementation. That's our product. So if we know that, why are we getting emotional when other people don't see the same thing you see?